Welcome Taurus. This is Renee and welcome back. We're going to take a look and see what's going on for you Taurus. What's happening? See what's coming out in the cards for you. Okay, the Four of Pentacles. Overall energy. Hmm. Give me some more messages, Spirit, for Taurus. What's going on with Taurus? Okay, so we have the Six of Cups. Ooh, the Ace of Cups in reverse. The King of Cups. We have the strength card in reverse. The devil. Okay. The two of wands. The king of pentacles. And the tower. Changes. Wow. At the bottom, we have the Eight of Swords. Okay. So, my beautiful Taurus, I feel like you've been protecting your energy a lot. I feel like, you know, you are in your head a lot right now. There's a lot of things that you're thinking about. I think that when it comes to, you know, the Six of Cups energy, this is family. This is memories. This is past energy. So I feel like you may be thinking about past events a lot right now. A lot of things are running through your head. You're thinking about things that you've lost, things that have been taken out of your life, you know, and you're, you feel like there's an emotional loss. There's some em emptiness there, right? And I feel like with this King of Swords energy, you're trying to put your head over your heart. You're trying to come to some kind of truth, some kind of understanding as to what's going on, what's happening. Um, I feel like for some of you, you may be walking away from a family situation. You may be walking away from a love that you may have had for a long time. This is something that you thought was going to last a long time. you know. And I feel like in this energy here with the Four of Pentacles, this is energy of trying to protect trying to protect something look how he's over those pinnacles you know he's trying to protect his energy there there may be a feeling of a lot of weakness right now with this strength card in reverse i feel like you're not in control of your situation you're looking to gain more control You have a lot of doubts. And it, it could be you having that pride about yourself as well. You may be, you know, your ego may be taking over when it comes to the situation, especially with this devil being on the bottom. I feel like, you know, you're protecting your energy. You're feeling very defensive when it comes to certain situations. And you are... You're going from this... King of Swords to the Devil to the Tower. So I feel like, you know, this negative energy that you're in right now, this protection mode, I feel like it's going to bring some unexpected changes. You know, we're ending with the Tower here. So changes are coming. Changes are ahead. But I feel like you're blocking your energy. You're, you know, you're deep in your thoughts. With this Two of Wands energy... Ooh, my wonderful Taurus. There's some decisions that you feel like you need to make because you are become you are trying to become more stable. You are trying to find that stability. You know, um, this could be in your personal life, love, or your finances. But I feel like you're trying to find that stability. 
you know, and we have the King of Pentacles here. The King of Pentacles, he's all about his abundance, right? He's all about being generous. He's all about, you know, providing. But he's also a very stable king, okay? He's, he's also very um, practical and grounded. So I feel like at this moment, there's some choices that you need to make in order to become more stable in your situation. I feel like there are some choices that you may not want to make with this Eight of Swords energy. We also have the Two of Pentacles. I feel like that's, you know, no longer weighing your options. Now you're coming to a definite decision, right? And you're standing on whatever it is that you believe in. But I feel like with this Six of Swords energy... I feel like you're not moving forward for some reason. You're not moving forward with the choices that you made. But I feel like you've come to a definite choice. Okay? There may be a lot of emotional baggage or unresolved issues when it comes to this Six of Swords energy. You know, there's something that needs to be finished first. And I feel like you're kind of holding yourself back from finishing whatever it is that you have started. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a little bit of clarity for this. Why is the Six of Cups here, Spirit? Give me a message for the Six of Cups. Give me a message for the Six of Cups. The King of Cups. Yeah, you could be in your emotions when it comes to family situations or the past. I feel like you're thinking a lot about the past or someone has been in your life so long. It feels like they haven't never not been there, right? But I feel like you're deep in your emotions when it comes to this person. Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse? Give me a message. Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse? The Knight of Cups. Okay. And we have the Ace of Cups in reverse again. I feel like you're not getting the apology that you feel like you deserve. When it comes to this person, there's someone who owes you an apology. They owe you something and you feel like you're not getting that. You feel like they're not owning up to their part of the situation. They're not taking responsibility and you feel like you're owed this apology. You're owed something here and it's making you feel like, you know, you are... Like at, a, at an emotional loss. You know, that's this blocked energy again. Uh, someone could have blocked you so that they didn't have to apologize. And I feel like it's leaving you deep in your emotions. You know, you want to tell them how you feel about the situation. You want to open your heart to this person. But you feel like they're not being open with you. They're not being truthful. They're not giving you the apology that you need and deserve. Give me a message. Why is the King of Swords here? The Two of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles in Reverse. Yeah, I feel like this was a um, either a friendship or a person that you're in a relationship with. You know, you felt like this was love. And I feel like they, they just didn't want to come forward with the truth. And you're like demanding the truth from them. You're demanding that they open up. And I don't feel like you're getting it. I feel like they're holding back. They're... They're not giving you the information that you need to move on. But I feel like, you know, you're going through 
working for this person to tell you the truth and this person isn't giving you anything you know they're not giving you you know uh, the seven of Pentacles in reverse this is doing the work without getting any rewards you know um, so I feel like you're definitely not getting something that you are actively pursuing in this situation you know they're not able to open up and tell you their version of the truth you know they may be shutting down they may be just being quiet why is the strength card here the strength card in reverse the strength card is confirmed by the strength card in reverse again right we have the Nine of Cups at the bottom. I, I feel like, Taurus, you really want the situation to work out, but you don't see it going anywhere. You know, and you're just working on your happiness. You're working on being fulfilled because you feel like, you know, the situation isn't going to be any better. You, you're in deep doubt when it comes to this. Or one of you is being really, really egotistic. Okay? One of you doesn't want to back down. But I feel like you just want to be happy. You just want to move forward. You just want to, you know, find your contentment in this, right? I, I feel like, you know, the, the Nine of Cups, this is a single person. So I feel like you may be going it alone, but you may have to go it alone to find your happiness, right? Um, why is the Four of Pentacles here? Give me a message for the Four of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you're protecting a situation because you really don't want it to end. I feel like you're like grieving the situation. You know, this is something that you may have been in for a very long time, my beautiful Taurus. And you really don't want the situation to end. They, but there's a feeling of dragging it on that brings more pain than just letting the situation go. You know, um, you feel like it can't get any worse. But you're still deep in the sadness. Yeah, the, the Ten of Swords, this is like, well, I can't get any worse than this. You know, but here we have the Five of Cups, so you're still in sadness. You really want to work things out. You really want to work on the situation and, you know, take control of your situation to find your happiness. But I feel like... There's no movement here. There's someone who's not moving. They're not budging. Yeah, there's no action. You know, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands in reverse. This is no action. The Pentacles, this is, this is energy that's not moving, right? And then we have the Eight of Swords again. So definitely your like deep in your thoughts about the situation you're imprisoning yourself this is a mental prison the eight of swords give me a message why is the devil here capricorn energy why is the devil here why is the devil here the judgment card we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So yeah, there needs to be a wake-up call here. You know, I feel like this devil energy is a wake-up call. This is a stepping out of your comfort zone. Because I feel like in this situation, you could be very comfortable. You could be with someone so long that you just feel that comfort, that need to stay together just because it's comfortable. And if this is a love situation, I feel like you need to step out of your comfort zone. You need to release some energy in order to for something to get better. The, now, the judgment can also be the card of second chances. So I'm not going to say that there isn't any possibility that the relationship could be mended. Um, because we have the two of cups to the judgment. You know, the judgment can be a card of second chances. Okay. Um, but I'm, I'm really getting 
with this judgment card. That there's some sort of awakening happening. It is definitely taking you out of your comfort zone. It's taking you out of where you feel like you've always been and moving you into a, a different mental space. You know, this is also the card of rebirth. You know, having that ability, that clarity, making that final decision. Okay, so you could be making a final decision on the situation that you no longer want to be in. Okay, because we do have this Ace of Wands at the bottom. This Ace of Wands is like a lack of energy when it's in, a, in, a, in the reverse. It's like no movement, no passion. Okay, so and I feel like, yeah, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the, excuse me, the Ace of Wands in reverse, Ace of Pentacles in the upright, Knight of Wands in reverse to the Eight of Swords again. Yeah, so, and I, I'm really feeling like, this uh, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, you feel like there may be an opportunity that something is going to change. But I feel like you're still holding yourself back. You're still stuck. And the, the feeling that I'm getting is, Taurus, I, I feel like there may be a need for you to release past thoughts and energies. Okay? Because I feel like whatever was done in the past is holding you back from your future. That's what I, that's the energy that I'm feeling. I feel like, you know, there's something that happened to you. Some kind of trauma that happened to you in the past that you need to release, that you need to forgive and release into the universe so that you can be free. Okay? Um... Because I feel like this energy, you're looking for something to happen, some kind of new beginning, but you're, you're getting to where you're getting angry about the situation. And that's keeping you more in your head. That's keeping you more in your thoughts, keeping you imprisoned. Um, I feel like you're very impulsive at the moment, very angry, right? Or you have times when thinking about the situation makes you angry. And I feel like you think about the situation often. That's what's keeping you blocked. Okay? We have, with the Two of Wands, we have the Death card in reverse. We also have the Seven of, of Pentacles in reverse. So actually, you feel like the ending isn't going to give you any reward. You feel like by ending something, it's not going to change how it is. You know, it's not going to change anything by having this ending. So why even change it? But beautiful Taurus, you're just staying comfortable. You're not moving forward. You're just staying blocked in this energy. Okay? In order to move away from this energy, you need to release it. You need to let it go. Because with this death card in reverse, this is the fear of change also. You know, you're afraid. You're afraid of what changes may bring. But we have the tower here, so this change is going to happen regardless. You know, change is about, is a part of life. We all go through changes. We all go through these awakenings, these, these times of trouble actually bring us more strength so and i feel like this is a, a a very strong strong learning process for you and i feel like once you get through this you're gonna go through this spiritual awakening that's going to help you process things and take you forward into what the universe what life has next in store for you okay um give me a message why do we have the King of Pentacles here? Give me a message. Why do we have the King of Pentacles? 
the Five of Wands. We have the Tower again. And I, I feel like you you are yearning for stability. You're learning for things not to change, for things just to grow and prosper. And I feel like, you know, any conflict or uh, situation that you come across that brings conflict, you're like wanting to hide away instead of dealing with what it's bringing. That's the energy that I'm getting. You're you're trying to hide from this change. But I feel like Taurus, the, these changes are happening. These changes are meant to happen for your greater good. They're not meant to hurt you or bind you. You know, you, we have to go through this learning process in order to grow as a person. Um, so take it all in strive, right? And I feel like you, you know, you don't want this conflict. You don't want this drama in your life. You, you feel like this tower is going to be this drastic change that's going to bring so much upheaval. And you know, with some towers, it may, you know. But after you, after the tower crumbles, you're able to rebuild something different, something new, something more stronger. Right? Give me a message. Why is the tower here? Okay, the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, what did I tell you? You know, these are changes that you need to go through in order to bring more happiness. One, you know, a tower can actually be a blessing in disguise. You know, and at, at the time we're going through these tower moments, we don't see it as that because it's just that tower moment, that quick change, that unexpected that comes through that may leave us heartbroken for a moment, that may leave us very sad or grieving. But actually the tower is meant for your greater good. It's meant to help you through the process. And I feel like with this Knight of Swords energy, you know, you are needing to take action in order to pursue your happiness. You know, you're needing to go through this tower moment. You're needing just to ride it out. Um, we have the Six of Pentacles at the bottom. So definitely, I feel like you're trying to keep hold of your power. You feel like you feel like something's going to be taken away from you by releasing some kind of energy. Um, the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Page of Swords. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you've been in a situation for a while that's actually turned you very bitter. That actually made you feel really um, hard-hearted when it comes to a situation, right? You feel like you're losing something, so you're trying very hard to hold on to it. But I feel like, you know, your mental energy is like wearing thin. You're like this hermit in reverse. You know, you're wearing thin. Page of Swords energy. You know, you're curious of what the future may bring, but you're also restless. You're like, when is this going to happen? What's going to happen? And when are these changes going to come? You know, and will these changes be for my better good, for my highest good? And I feel like they will be. You know, it's just going to take some time. But during this time, I feel like you need to be focused. You know, don't drift into withdrawing out of situations. Don't have that fear of rejection or dip into that loneliness because I feel like it's a time to really take care of yourself with this hermit in reverse and this four of swords. It's time to rest your energy and rejuvenate. Focus on your healing. Focus on yourself. Right? Um, do what you need to in order to focus on that energy. Okay? So let's go ahead and get some messages for Taurus. What do we have for Taurus? Messages for Taurus, please. OK, 
Okay, we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So there's definitely going to be a new person coming into your life. And I feel like that's the reason why this tower is ending. There's something that's ending for you. There's some kind of relationship, uh, maybe a long-term relationship that you've been through that now is leading you to this new person. And if you don't go through these tower moments, if you don't unblock your energy, how is this new person going to come in? Because you won't be open to receiving them, right? What other messages do we have for Taurus? We have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Okay, so there's someone totally different coming in. Someone that you may least expect. You know, it may not be your usual type or person. But there's definitely someone who's coming in for you. Okay, we have it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay, so it's safe for you to pursue this energy. The Spirit is letting you know it's safe. Okay, so let's go ahead and get your angel number. I feel like this was a really deep reading, Taurus. We have duality. Within you are shadows of dark and beams of light. The divine is reminding you to embrace the duality that is your individual spark. The spark is being ignited and ready to illuminate the path ahead. I, your affirmation, I fully embrace who I am and I allow change where it is needed. I trust the duality within me. Okay, so we have change again. So um, there are changes that are happening for you. We're going to also get a fortune oracle. What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus, please? Let me take this one. Okay, we have celebrations. You are ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. See, there's that new. New and exciting things. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. And that's the number five, change. Big changes are happening for you, Taurus. Okay, so we have celebrations. Congratulations, you are now reaping the rewards of your efforts for the past 12 months. Get ready for to celebrate with a series of fun parties and celebrations of all kinds. Your social calendar is filled with invitations. Pour in at a furious pace. Make the most of fabulous networking opportunities. Dynamic change is indicated and there is a potential for world, worldwide travel. There is a cause for celebration as you ooze self-confidence attracting everything you want. Decisions will need to be made right away though. Putting things off could cost you dearly in missed opportunities. Be prepared too. The long-term plans should be made right now for the best results. The path to success is there for the taking. In personal relationships, trifling irritations are now in store for you at times, and you may feel very frustrated indeed. However, don't let people burden you with their problems. They need to help themselves. This is your time. You will be the life of the party with all of your cycles working for you. A romantic encounter is likely and you may be strongly drawn to a person at work. It seems to be mutual. So take the plunge and make an approach if you are single. Reunions are also featured and some renew their vows, okay? In career and money, a meeting with someone will boost your self-confidence and bring dramatic changes to your finances. A change in residence or job is also likely. Trust your instincts and play your hunches. You could gain some extra money. You will look back on this time as fortuitous and you will look back on this time as a fortuitous one. 
So confidently act on what you are being guided to do. Your power tip. Email yourself the affirmation, congratulations. This will help you feel the positivity surrounding you. Placing a picture of someone you admire on your desk can also bring in this positive force. Okay, so that is your affirmation, your fortune oracle. Okay, my beautiful Taurus, this is your reading. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. And before you step out, before you leave, please make sure to take um, to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. And um, until your next reading, my beautiful Taurus, many blessings to you. Love and light.